tape and other forms of electrical tape have become a staple in the drag clicking community. Nearly every big drag clicker out there, including Telly and Bellis Noob, they all use tape to enhance the drag clicking experience. And yes, tape does in fact help you drag click tremendously. In fact, electrical tape brands such as Duck Electrical Tape have been known for their qualities and abilities to help you drag click way better than you could normally. In this clip, Telly for example, drag click 124 CPS using electrical tape on a bloody A70. However, with a lot of things that seem too good to be true in life, there can be some hidden risks and unforeseen dangers. Through my research, I was able to discover how electrical tape could actually be impacting your health, how it could hurt your mouse, and how it could actually be dangerous and toxic to your well-being. So before we get into the hidden truth and dark secrets of drag clicking tape, I want to first announce something really important. I have finally dropped the first ever Helix Discord server. In the link in the description or in my bio, you can find the invitation link to my Discord server. There you can share memes, talk with other drag clickers, and just build the Helix community in general. There you can ask me questions and send me whatever you'd like. Thanks everyone for the support and let's go right back into the video. One day I was searching for some decent tape for drag clicking that could help me improve my CPS. Upon looking across various YouTube channels and YouTube videos on tape, I came across Duck Electrical Tape, as I have previously mentioned. But before I was about to purchase the tape, my eyes darted to a really suspicious warning label. That warning label reads as follows, warning, this product contains one or more chemicals known to the state of California to cause cancer and birth defects or other reproductive harm. Wash your hands after handling. Upon learning these facts, I was shocked and intrigued. So I decided to do some more research into it. What I found was that electrical tape contains chemicals such as BPA and other chemicals that cause reproductive harm and cancer. BPA is a controversial compound that is found in some sorts of plastics. BPA is known for building up inside a person's body, which could eventually lead to underlying health conditions such as asthma, impaired brain development, as well as obesities and cancers. The main fear or risk with BPA is having it leach into your foods and eventually a person consuming it. Well, you must be wondering how this relates to drag clicking. Let me tell you. So, when people drag click on their mouse, they usually coat their finger in the glue of electrical tape or they constantly are making physical contact with the electrical tape throughout the day. When you are drag clicking, you're not being mindful of whether or not you're touching tape. You're just drag clicking your mouse all day long as you please. However, since you're drag clicking your mouse all day and you're not being mindful of your fingers, you could have leftover glue or tape residue on your fingers still. So, if you happen to pick up a piece of food and eat it, or drink some water, you could be ingesting small amounts of BPA and toxic compounds into your body that are still left over on your finger. That is the main concern with drag clicking with electrical tape. But don't worry everyone, don't throw away your drag click tape, don't feel like you're gonna get a stroke, cause you're not, I promise you. Short term exposure with electrical tape is fairly safe. It's not gonna kill you, it's not gonna harm you. However, I do fear repeated exposure over multiple years to this tape, as well as the small consumption of it every time you pick up a piece of food to eat it, could build up over time as it commonly does with BPA, and could actually carry on some negative health effects in the future. So, my main caution is, if you are using electrical tape for drag clicking, you should always wash your hands afterwards. If you're planning to put your fingers in your mouth, you're planning to eat something, you're planning to drink something, wash your hands. Because I don't want BPA and other chemicals from that tape to build up in your body over time. If you've been drag clicking for a couple of months, you'll be fine. Maybe even a year. But 
if you keep doing it over and over and over and over, it could eventually lead to some possible negative consequences. Nothing 100% here. I am just bringing up a hypothetical. In addition to the possible health effects that could result from drag clicking with electrical tape, electrical tape also kind of destroys your mouse basically. So right here, one of my commenters mentioned how when he put electrical tape on his mouse, afterwards his entire surface was destroyed, meaning that he could not drag click anymore without tape. What the tape does is that it leaves a sticky residue on the surface of the mouse. That residue makes the mouse really slippery and prevents you from drag clicking normally. So the only solution would be to add more tape. The problem is getting the oil from your own fingers off the mouse is hard enough, let alone getting off tape residue. If you happen to put electrical tape on your mouse, you will most likely never get it off completely because of the strong residue. Therefore, if you have a bloody a bedless mouse, I would not recommend putting any electrical tape on it because the mouse's surface is far too good. You do not really need electrical tape for that mouse. If you put it on it, you're just sacrificing the mouse's surface and you might as well just buy a normal A70 if you're gonna put tape on it. Personally, I feel that a mouse that doesn't require tape is always the better mouse in my opinion. A mouse like the Bloody A90 for example is not one that I really favor. I personally prefer an A60 or an A70 bedless because those mice absolutely don't require tape. The Bloody A90 however must have tape to drag click. It's literally impossible to drag click that mouse without tape. So therefore I would rank the A60 or the A70 bedless higher than that mouse. After some experimentation and testing with various other types of tapes and surface combinations, I've actually discovered my own custom form of drag clicking tape. In a future video, I will unveil this custom tape that both does not damage your mouse and is safe to use at all times. I really hope you found this video interesting and useful. Be sure to comment down below if you use tape or not while drag clicking. Let's get our Discord server to 150 members soon. Be sure to follow me on Discord, link in description. Subscribe, we're on the road to 10k. I'll see you guys in the next video.